all certified seed potatoes start from plantlets grown in a tissue culture lab. The plants originated from tubers, but were then tested and then cleaned up from any disease issues. So we know these plants are starting off disease free. Once the plant populations are sufficient, the potato plants are taken into the greenhouse, where they are planted into flats containing a germinating mix. After two weeks under artificial lights, 10 plugs are transplanted into each pot. The potting soil in these pots contains compost and a fish fertilizer that is sufficient for the entire growing season. Drip irrigation is used to water the crop. Potatoes do best when the nighttime temperatures are between 40 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and the daytime temperatures are between 80 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes about 90 days for the potato plants to grow and form mini tubers. After the vines are removed, and skins have set, the mini tubers are harvested. Yield varies greatly by variety, but producing 25 to 30 mini tubers per pot would be considered adequate. Since these mini tubers are grown from disease free plants, they will also be disease free. There is enough time to grow three consecutive crops in the greenhouse each year. All of these mini tubers are planted in the field in the spring. This is what will become a G1 crop. A regular potato planter is used to plant the mini tubers but the tubers must be placed in the cups by hand due to their smaller size. This process is more time consuming than planting higher generation lots, but it is worth the effort. Three inspections take place in the field each year, along with some leaf testing, to make sure disease tolerances are being met. This is the foundation for practically all potatoes grown in this country. In the fall the crop will be harvested. This crop is not sold, instead it is planted back the next year to make a G2 crop. Once the lots get up to G3 or G4 they are sold to customers. To place your order go to www.whiterockseed.com.